Hi there, welcome to Chillin' with Chase. I'm Chase Martin. Thank you, thank you. Y'all, I've been getting so many questions since I announced the record deal signing, so I wanted to dedicate this week to a Q&A, just answering all of y'all's questions. I didn't really anticipate as many questions as I got when I posted this on my Instagram story, so I'm just gonna do a handful of them this week, and then in a few weeks, we'll do another one, if that's okay with y'all. So let's get started, Chasey Boo Boos. <laughs> it's weird. I started singing and playing the guitar when I was in the fourth grade. There was a talent show at my elementary school and I signed up for it and I came home and I told my mom, hey mom, I signed up for the talent show at school. And she was like, what's your talent? And I said, I'm gonna sing and play the guitar. And she said, you've never sung a note in your life and you don't own a guitar. And me being the sass master I was, I said, well, you're gonna need to buy me one. Thanks mommy. When I was 15 years old, I started playing at a whole bunch of open mic nights at different bars and restaurants in my hometown in hopes that they would give me a real gig on a Friday or Saturday night. And so that eventually led to me playing a lot of shows around where I grew up, which eventually led me to moving to Nashville when I was 17. I signed with Sony Music's very own Records Co. I could not be more excited, y'all. The team is so hardworking and so unbelievable. I am a very, very lucky girl. No. I'm literally so excited. I could not be more excited. I'm excited for y'all to hear the new music. I'm excited to hear what y'all think about it. I'm excited to meet y'all in person one day, hopefully soon. I'm just really excited. And I just can't hide it, oh. My vocal cords. I love to sing, singing's my favorite. Number two's guitar. Coronavirus has definitely made things a bit more difficult on the touring front, but yo girl's been working on some special stuff for y'all. You won't be disappointed, stay tuned. My eye color, it's green, greenish, hazel, brown. Hazel. <laughs> Got my Levi denim. If you want it, you got it. If you want it, you got it. You see it, you like it, you ask me, you got it. Word. Yes. Anything you want. Within reason. you. Uh, I'll share a few of them. This one was the very first tattoo I ever got when I turned 18. Two music notes, self-explanatory, I play music. I have 615 and 843 written on my fingers. 615 is my new area code in Nashville. 843 was my old one in Charleston, South Carolina. And then lastly, I have a tattoo behind my ear. It is a crown and a crescent moon with stars. Queen of the Night, Whitney Houston. Um, funny story, in ancient times, the women used to tattoo behind their ears to keep the evil spirits away, and so the music industry can be so, uh, so I wanted to get that behind my ear to remind me that I am the queen of every night, no matter what anybody says. I have a few more, but we'll save those for another time. One Sunday, I was actually walking up Music Row with my sister, and we were looking at all of the record labels and publishing houses, and there was this man that started waving to us, and I was thinking, man, that guy's wearing really weird pants, until I realized he wasn't wearing pants. He was only wearing socks and a white t-shirt. Nash Vegas. See you there. 